I bet you thought you lived in a democracy. Well, I've got news for you. You don't. <laughs> In the election just gone, people all over Ireland voted for change. But Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael aren't having any of it. And not only that, but the little Fianna Fáilers and the little Fianna Gaelers who populate the police force, who populate the civil service, who populate the judiciary and the state, they don't want change either. Sinn Féin were the main beneficiaries of this vote for change. And so the ruling class, people like Garda Commissioner Drew Harris, are trying to slander them, but it's all about one thing, preventing the rise of a left government that might actually take action and should take action on the housing crisis or the health crisis. And it's a bit ironic that, you know, Drew Harris, an ex-RUC man who has links to MI5, who is associated with covering up for loyalist murder gangs. The families of the victims of those gangs wanted the man sacked in the north. But what the Fine Gael do? Give him the top guard a job. Sure, who better than an RUC man to run the men with battens who protect the Golden Circle? And when you think about it, <laughs> Drew Harris is some cheek saying Sinn Féin are a sinister organisation. I mean, who's more sinister than the police force in the North or MI5 or the British government and their empire and all the rotten things they did to maintain that empire? But it all goes to show the lengths that the Golden Circle will go to to prevent change from happening in this country. And you see, it's not just about Sinn Féin, because Sinn Féin have already said they're willing to talk to Fianna Fáil or Fianna Gael, which I think is a huge mistake. They should absolutely rule out coalition with those parties. And yet the ruling class is still trying to force Sinn Féin onto their knees and trying to slander the idea of a left government and trying to slander the forces of the left as being sinister forces. Why? Because the left has the support of the poorer working class people in this country. And Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael are sending us a message that the state, the Irish state, does not work for the poorer working class. And if we try to get it to work for the poorer working class, then they'll do everything in their power to smash us. They'll do everything in their power to stop us taking their wealth, to stop us taking their property, to stop us ending the housing crisis, to stop us ending homelessness. Because these are the people who don't suffer from the housing crisis or the health crisis. They don't suffer the way we do. But this whole fiasco shows why you need people power on the streets. Because even if you get rid of Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael, if you wiped out those parties, if you got them down to their core support among the rich, 20, 20% of the vote, just the richest people vote, even if you got them down to that. What about the Fianna Fáilers and Fianna Gaelers who run the judiciary, who populate the Senate, an upper house that can vote down measures that come through the Dáil? So let's say the Dáil passes legislation to build 100,000 houses and clear the housing list. And then the senators, the conservative senators decide, oh, we're just going to block that. Or the judiciary. What about the Fianna Fáilers and Fianna Gaelers who run the courts and the high court? What if they say, in defending the constitution and the right to private property and ownership of wealth, we're going to block this bill to build houses because we must defend the constitutional right of the rich to maintain their wealth. And then there's the rich themselves. People like Dennis O'Brien who've got billions. People like Larry Goodman who monopolised the beef industry in this country. They can say, if your government doesn't do what we want, we can use our billions and our millions to put a noose around your neck and we can threaten pulling our money out of this country unless you do what we want. In all those situations where the Golden Circle use their control of the courts, their control of the Senate, their control of the civil service, their control of the police, the army, their control of all the wealth in society. When they use all those threads to build a rope and put it around the neck of a left government, the only way to stop them is people power on the streets. They may control the courts and the civil service. They may even control the media and try to manipulate our minds through RTE and papers that are nothing more than propaganda mouthpieces for the wealthy. But our power is our collective strength. 
Our power is that we are the majority. 